After AOA's scandal in 2020, former member Mina has become the center of attention for the media and the public. Following her accusations against Demine, she went on to speak about the topic, but it seems like she has finally started to move on with her life. Here are the latest updates on Mina. Kwan Mina has given others a recent shocking update that many weren't expecting. Previously, during AOA's scandal in 2020, Mina was very vocal about the things she allegedly suffered because of Jimin. After Jimin released an apology and was kicked out of the group by FNC Entertainment only a few days after the initial accusations, she went completely silent on social media, as did the other AOA members. Mina, on the other hand, went on to make multiple Instagram posts, went on interviews, and generally did everything to get her story across. There were even times when people would ask her to stop posting because she would post very graphic and triggering things to her followers, but the more she posted, the more she lost her credibility on her story. People started to piece things together, noticing that some things that Mina claimed didn't match with her previous allegations, but netizens had only her story as Jimin didn't speak up on the matter. Then more than a year later, Dispatch came out with a report consisting of 128 minute long private chat messages and transcripts of conversations between Mina, Jimin, and the rest of the AOA members from November 2020 to May 2021. In these messages, not only was Mina caught lying about some of the claims and accusations she made, but the report also revealed that she also continued taunting Jimin Jimin with messages in order to provoke her into responding. Jimin did not rise to the bait and didn't respond to any of her messages, though that didn't mean that Mina stopped talking to her. There was also another scandal that Mina caused with an ex-boyfriend of hers named Yoo Jun Young in July of 2021. After she revealed her relationship by posting a picture with her partner and confirming that the two were indeed dating, a netizen claimed that the man was actually the boyfriend of Mina's close friend and that she stole him from her friend. Mina first denied the accusation, saying that he he thought that the two were broken up, but chat logs actually revealed that the boyfriend and Mina started meeting up when he was still in a relationship with Mina's friend. She then had no choice but to admit to the affair and had to apologize publicly by posting on her personal Instagram account. She also said that she had ended her relationship with him. Following the backlash, she went silent on social media. But not exactly, as she kept on posting and deleting all her social media and sometimes even deactivating her account at times, but at that point, nobody was interested and what she had to say. Dispatch had exposed that her claims against Jimin were fake, she had knowingly stolen her friend's boyfriend and caused a scandal because of it, so the public was more or less bored with her and what she was doing. It looks like this was the thing that pushed her to switch career paths, multiple times at that. Back in January of this year, she appeared as a guest in a live broadcast on the YouTube channel Exorcist Yu Yolb. She revealed that she moved from Ilsan, a small town near Seoul, to Huangdong, and that she had started working at a skincare clinic owned by an acquaintance of hers. Mina also shared that she would continue her activities with a new YouTube channel the same year. However, the YouTube channel never ended up happening, and Mina went on to talk about Jimin again, which was expected according to netizens. As soon as Jimin started posting on Instagram again, people started suspecting that Mina would speak out against her again, and she did. Mina shared a screenshot of a fan messaging her personally to ask why she had lied about what happened between her and Jimin. In the caption of the picture, Mina explained that she didn't lie and that she was the one who asked Dispatch to release the recordings, but that the parts that made her look like the villain were strategically placed by FNC Entertainment, AOA's company. Mina said, The moment I entered my house, the officials were filming a video or recording audio, so they were ready to release those whenever. They were the ones who released the recording. She also claimed that the director of Dispatch believed that Jimin was the perpetrator, not Mina, so she didn't care if she loses or wins, and that she just wants to reveal the truth as it is. Her return was not welcomed by Netizen, so she ended ended up deleting her post and deactivating once again. Things took a turn after that. After the dispatch report was uploaded, Jimin's career took a turn. From being shunned from the industry, fans were flocking to her comments and asking her to come back to the group again and continue making music. While her return to AOA or FNC Entertainment was entirely possible, she ended up signing an exclusive contract with Alomalo's entertainment agency. Upon landing her new agency, Jimin greeted fans by letting them know that she had time to reflect and has plans to move forward step by step. She's also currently part of Second World, JTBC's K-pop survival show for rappers and K-pop groups. Her return was heavily supported by fans and, of course, her best friend Solhyun, as everyone was excited to see what she would be able to offer after such a long and painful hiatus. But where does that leave Mina? Well, fans don't have an update on whether she's still working at the skincare clinic or not, since she hasn't mentioned anything about it ever since her initial interview with exorcist Yu Yolb. She still hasn't mentioned the YouTube channel 
channel either, but since the year isn't technically over, the channel could be launched somewhere in the near future. As for the cafe, Mina reappeared on social media once again in July with a surprising update. She opened a cafe in Hongdae Seoul called Cafe 345. She posted a picture of the cafe and its address on Instagram, writing, Come visit the cafe. Take a break sipping a delicious coffee made by our store manager who has six years of experience as a barista. She also posted her selfies at the cafe and the menu list, asking her followers to meet there. Due to the confusion from her followers, Mina also had to explain that she was not in fact the owner of the establishment, but she was only participating in marketing for the cafe and the barista. She had explained the barista was also the manager who was in charge of all the operations. She is also working on other tasks for the establishment and try to help with work to be helpful by coming up with ideas, even if she wasn't present at the cafe every day. It seemed like things have changed lately based on Mina's recent update on social media. She uploaded a few selfies on her now reactivated Instagram account where she can be sporting a white turtleneck, wavy hair, and natural makeup. She captioned the post, photo dump, I am at a cafe every day these days, hee <laughs> hee. From the pictures, it can be seen that she was ordering drinks, but she deleted the post right after. To people's delight, she looked happier with what she was currently doing and hadn't mentioned Jimin in a while, so others took it as a sign that she was in a much better place mentally. Mina also showed netizens that despite everything that happened, she had still kept her friendships with the other AOA members. Well, at least one of them. Even before the scandal, Hyejung was Mina's best friend and they were always closer than Mina was with the other members. She had also made a point in mentioning that Hyejung was the only person who stood up for her against Jimin, and even in the dispatch transcripts, Hyejung was the one who was able to get through to Mina in some of the most tense situations. However, after unfollowing Hyejung on Instagram, people thought that the scandal had strained the relationship between the two so much that either Hyejung or Mina had decided to end it all together. They ended up showing the exact opposite with an Instagram post. Whether they reconciled recently or have been rebuilding their friendship slowly over the months, we don't know. But what we do know is that the two are on good terms again. On September 11th, Mina uploaded a picture on Instagram where she can be seen posing with AOA's Hyejong. In the caption, she wrote Hyejong Dong Heart. Her relationship with the other members isn't known, but considering that the group was at the peak of their career and having a long-awaited revival, but it all crashed down because of the scandal, people seem to think that the other members aren't exactly ready to get over everything and just forgive Mina like that. Considering that most of them have taken different routes in their life altogether, that seems to be the most likely case. Yuna has become a yoga instructor, Solhyun has left FNC Entertainment and has moved on to a new agency to focus on her acting career, and there isn't much known about Tunmi since she hasn't made a public appearance since her interview on TVN's You Quiz on the Block. It looks like she has started a modeling career considering that she's been posting selfies and pictures from different photo shoots on Instagram accounts. All in all, it seems like the group is over, even if FNC Entertainment haven't officially revealed anything, and that all the members have moved on with their lives, including Mina. That's all the fans have been wanting. What do you guys think? Share your thoughts in the comments, and make sure to check out our website for more K-pop updates, and see you soon. Bye guys!